You've heard of the gin fizz, but have you heard of the New Orleans fizz? Stick around and find out. Come on, take them. There we go. Maybe. <laughs> Come on, what is going on here? And don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that little bell. So this week we've got another shaken and double strained drink for you. But don't be afraid. It's about having fun and drinking good drinks. So let's go ahead and get our shakers. We're also using Tangeray again. We're going to be doing an ounce and a half. Now, the New Orleans Fizz, obviously, as the name states, was made in New Orleans. <laughs> you don't say. You know, that you would, you would imagine, right? I thought it was Chicago. My bad. <laughs> We're also going to be adding a ounce and a quarter of simple syrup. Ooh, so simple. Yeah. And in fact, the New Orleans Fizz got so popular that the restaurant that came up with it, the Big Easy, or actually, no, I'm sorry, the Ramos 35, they, their shaker boys, as they call them, could not keep up with the amount of drinks that were being ordered. Well, that means they're good. That, that's true. We've also got a half ounce of lime juice and a half ounce of lemon juice. Now, if you've never had one of these, the flavor profile is super crazy. You really wouldn't think based off of these ingredients, but it kind of tastes just like a key lime pie. So if you like key lime pie, you're definitely gonna wanna try it. What was that you just put in there? What I just put in there was orange blossom water, mm. which is important. You could sub uh, orange bitters, but this is gonna give you a better flavor and you can usually find it in like a Mediterranean market or somewhere like that. Yep, that's awesome. Yeah, and now we're gonna add two ounces of cream. So let's go ahead and get some cream. And I tell you what, in Texas, it's starting to warm up. We don't, we don't get spring here. Yeah. We don't get spring here at all. It goes winter to summer. Winter straight to summer. <laughs> that's why we ditched the flannels. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's why, miraculously, in a week, we changed a tire. <laughs> now, we've got one more ingredient, which I believe is in the fridge. Yes. And that is, you guessed it, an egg white. Ooh, excellent! <laughs> it's just an excellent week so far. <laughs> we've done the original omelet. We've done deviled eggs. Yes, they were amazing. Yeah, and come back tomorrow to find out what we're making tomorrow. Okay, now we've got all of our ingredients in our shaker. We're gonna dry shake this for, let's say about 30 seconds, and then we're gonna come back and add some ice. Okay, yeah, there we go. We've got that nice and shaken. And now, the ice. I really wanted to sing that song, but I don't know if I can. I just want to jump in this ice container. You're telling me. Can we cut and I can just do that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're gonna shake for another minute to two minutes. The recipe says, shake until it hurts. <laughs> So here we go. Whew. Okay. I shook it. I don't know if that was a minute. Are you hurting? But I'm sweating. Come on. Take him. There we go. Maybe. <laughs> Come on, what is going on here? There we go. Oh, that's why. It really expanded. That means I shook it good. Okay, now. You need time to catch your breath? Yeah, I need to catch my breath. Okay, we've got our two strainers 
and our two glasses. Now keep in mind, we want to save some room for our fizz, right? So we're going to fill it to right about a half inch to an inch from the top. And since these glasses are so tiny, you want to be extra careful. Oh yeah. Back's looking good. Like I said, extra careful. Yeah, <laughs> extra messy. Time to get fizzy. There we go, and we're just gonna top these bad boys off with some fizz. All right. Who's ready for the New Orleans fizz? Ooh, that looks Get these out of the way. Yeah. Okay, you ready to try this bad boy? Oh, cheers. Cheers. Like that? Yeah. They say if you can stick a straw in it, it stands straight up. We don't have a straw, we do we? don't have a straw, but just looking at how thick that I'm is. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that you could stick a straw in that and it would okay. stand straight up. Well, cheers to that. Cheers. Mm. Oh yeah. That, the <laughs> thickness of that foam on top. That is really good. That is super good. And you're completely right. It is like a key lime pie in a glass. Right. Like a key lime meringue pie. Yeah. Because that uh -huh. top coating is kind of like a meringue. I mean, that is good stuff. All right. Well, good job. I like it. Yeah. I think a really cool garnish that you could do too. Zest a little lime Ooh. on top or a little lemon good. zest or some kind of zest on top. Do find a little tiny key lime and make a tiny key lime wheel. Oh, that would be awesome. Mm. That'd be super cool. All right. But yeah, highly suggest you try this out. It is a little bit on your arms, but it's, it's definitely it well worth, worth it. it. Yeah, it's really worth it. I'd hate to be a bartender in a restaurant and somebody ordered this though. <laughs> no kidding. But remember, drink responsibly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. That was good. Thanks.